Now, I think we can all agree these are difficult times. And if at all possible, you should just be staying at home and avoiding contact with people. But there are going to be times when people have to go out for certain reasons. I mean, today, I, I desperately need some shopping. Um, and I've tried to put it off. I don't want to panic buy and don't want to strip those shelves. Um, so I'll be carefully doing that today. And I also need to charge a car. Um, so what, what's the risks there? Well, virtually all the providers of, of, of uh, charge points have put out notifications mentioning the fact that these are high contact areas, they're high touch areas. Now they're going to be cleaning them, they're going to be trying to do as, as much as they can, but there is going to be times when you'll be touching a screen that someone else has touched previously and it hasn't been cleaned. The key thing here is wash your hands after use. If you did follow the advice to wash your hands, you shouldn't have any problems at all. Now, that does potentially mean you may have contact services which, after you've charged. One of the things people tend to do when they're charging is have, have drinks and food. Um, obviously, that's something to, to watch if you can't wash your hands in the car. So, antiviral wipes, things with a high level of alcohol in them, I think it's 70% plus they're saying is, is needed. Um, if, you, if you're going to be able to use that. Um, but the best thing is you can do is you can find somewhere to wash your hands in soap and water. And most uh, of the places where you go, we have cafes and things like that, will have some form of restroom or toilet area you can actually use to wash your hands. So that's the advice, wash your hands.